everyone and welcome back to our Battle of Plattsburgh series of Artifact Corner. Today we will be looking at two buttons found in Lake Champlain at the site of the battle. One of the buttons belonged to an American sailor, the other to a British sailor. The first button we will look at is an American sailor's button. You can see that the button has an eagle with a shield, and on the shield we see an anchor. The eagle and the shield are encircled with stars. This is a solid brass one-piece button. Earlier buttons had a copper repoussé top and a bone or wooden backing. The older style were far more likely to come apart or be broken. These new buttons were cast as one solid piece and were very durable in comparison. Our next button is from a British sailor's uniform. This button has an anchor on the front face and a textured border surrounding it. This is also a one-piece button, but unlike its American counterpart, it is made of pewter, not brass. As you can see, the uniforms for the Americans and the British are very similar. The average sailor was wearing a wool coat, a wool waistcoat or waistcoat, trousers, and a waterproofed or glazed hat. A British sailor recounted his ability to blend in with American sailors when he was taken prisoner when his ship, the Macedonian, was captured by the frigate United States. He was able to go out with his new friends slash captors to a dinner in New York City simply by covering his anchor buttons. This series of Artifact Corner could not have happened without the generosity and help of the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum. All of the artifacts you see this week are from LCMM's collection, and they have been so helpful in making this series come together. Please head over to their website, lcmm.org. They are a wealth of information on anything to do with Lake Champlain. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we will have more videos for you every day this week.